At its best, I think art is a very high and rarefied form of communication. We have it specifically so that we can deal with things for which other forms of language are either inadequate or inaccurate. I think the most accurate thing I've ever read, the thing that most reflects my thinking on how I approach making art, is a quotation from John Ruskin. Fine art is that in which the head, the heart, and the hand go together. I tend to think of my system of art making as a triangle. At one point, are things intellectual, at the second point are all of the technical elements, at the third are what I consider to be emotionally authentic experiences. Those three things are woven together by intuition, which rests, if you will, at the center of that triangle. It is the immense subtlety, I think, of the human eye that allows us to understand what the subject matter of art really is. The fact, for example, that I could see an individual here who I perhaps don't even know, and I could see that same individual six months later in a different town on a different continent, and know that I had seen them before, that ability to recognize a face among the billions of faces on the planet is the same exact visual skill that we use to understand content in art. The subject matter of art can be anything that the artist chooses. The content, however, will always and only be who the artist has made him or herself into. When I think about what creates the content of my work, I believe it's my interest in the old questions. Where did I come from? What am I to do while I'm here? And what, if anything, happens when I'm gone? And I think the fact that those questions are things that I take very seriously means that they are present in the work as the deepest form of content.
ask what the work is about, the real answer is that it isn't about anything. And that's not to say that it's meaningless, rather that it carries its meaning in its own way and on its own terms. And I really think the only way to understand that meaning is by looking and letting go of thinking.